hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, all the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested, my information is in the description box. Um, I did wake up feeling very sad this morning, like very, very sad. And I asked my cards who this was. And it was a Leo, which is kind of weird because um, I've been seeing a Leo coming towards me for a long time. And I don't know who this person is. <laughs> um, I don't know any Leos. So I'm beginning to wonder if it's not just someone here who I'm supposed to connect with through my shop. I don't know. Um, but I do feel like it's a male and it's someone who has to make a decision. Because I did like do like a whole reading. I asked like, why am I feeling this person? Why is this person sad? This person is having to make a decision. Um, and like I said, I don't know any Leos. Um, but I've been seeing this person for months. It's very strange to me. Um, <laughs> like I said, I've never connected, I don't believe, with the Leo. So I don't know um, who that may be. Um, it could be North Node placement, Moon placement, you know, but that's normally not the case with me, which is, that's why I'm very confused because, oh, I just got very dizzy, like negative energy. Um, anyways, um, yeah, normally loving from the inside, it is a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence. Okay, so that's a message for somebody. But um, what I was saying is that normally when spirit talks to me and I'm getting downloads and visions and they give me like, um, and I do readings and I'm seeing an, a, a zodiac sign, every single time I've ever been told a sign, a zodiac sign, it's always the sun sign. So I don't feel like it is someone's north node. I feel like it is the sun sign, Leo, and I don't know any sun sign Leo. So, so what do you want to say about that? Because I, I, I mean, I felt like a very, like, overwhelming sadness, like a depression. And I'm like, what? Who is this person? Anger as my sacred ally. I listen to the messages within my anger and use it as a positive force for good. So you could be angry. This person could be angry as well. Sanctuary. In my inner sanctuary, I connect to peace, inner quietude, and comfort. Okay. I don't know. Um, anything you want to say? They want me to use a different deck. So, okay. Anything you want to say to this person that I was connecting to? The spirit wanted me to talk about it. Like, and if, I wasn't even going to do a reading today. And Spirit was like, no, do a reading. I want you to talk about it. And I'm like, okay, talk about this person. So why are they feeling sad? <sighs> There's too much distance to maintain this connection. So they could be at a distance. Like I said, I've never connected with a Leo. So I don't know. I don't feel like this is romantically anything with me. Um... I just held 328 on the timer and it's weird because 328 is significant of um it's an angel number with twin flames and i've been seeing that like as i said that i saw that 328 and i saw 328 yesterday like a bus 328 and then i saw uh 328 in a page and i'm like what the hell so i looked it up and I've already known what this number means because I've been seeing it for quite some time. And it means to let anyone else who is not your twin go. Okay. But again, like I said, I don't know any Leos. So I don't feel like this is, this could be me, if that makes sense. Um, this is definitely someone, I feel like there's a male, divine. it is a male who is a divine masculine, who is a sun sign in Leo. Okay. And this person is sad because they're, there's distance between them and I feel like their person. Okay. Definitely feel like this is their person. So anything else you want to say, cause oh, this is weird. Lessons of Neptune, denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another self love boundaries and detachment are important. So someone could be in, um, deceiving themselves or being deceived by something. I just like somebody could be cloaking their energy. I heard this from, um, someone, 
who I feel is a friend. Um, but she brought that up and I was like, you know what? I wonder if somebody isn't connecting to me and they're cloaking their energy. When you cloak your energy, it's someone who ha who would have to have extensive spiritual knowledge, occult knowledge, okay? And you can cloak your energy by basically setting an intention of, in my, this is what I'm getting message-wise, okay? Setting your intention to show up as a specific energy, okay? That's like a cloaking of the energy, Maybe this person is collecting their energy. I don't know. Like showing up as a Leo. Um, that may be a possibility because I just heard that. Okay. But, uh, okay. That even makes it even more confusing. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know. Again, that's never happened. I've always seen the person who is the sign. Okay. It's always been proven that that is the sign. Like, and I'm talking about, Every, so I've been, I've dated quite a few people, but there's only been three specific people that have entered my life who I saw them coming in before they came in. Okay. Um, one was my ex-husband. Uh, one was Plutonian twin, either or. Okay. And the other one is who I'm married to now. Okay. Um, I saw all three of them. So those people are very significant. Um, and I saw my friend's twin coming in again. <laughs> all the sun signs were accurate. Okay. Water sign. It wasn't specific, um, with my current husband, but it was, I was told I, the visions I had was a water sign tattooed, tall, um, s some other explicit details and it was all accurate. Okay. And then, um, spirit wants me to share this with you guys. So I don't know, this is part of, you know, um, educating you guys on how, <laughs> how my life has transpired. Um, and then I had visions of who I refer to as my twin, um, but I know we have a Plutonian synastry as well, because I've seen it in our charts. Um, so it's a Plutonian connection also. Um, I didn't know his zodiac sign, but I had a, I dreamed about him two years prior before meeting. So I knew what race he was going to be, how tall he was going to be, where he lived, um, his financial status. It's like the only visions that I have are visions clearly that the divine wants me to see, right? So when you're, when you're having visions, and this is what um, kind of angers me about people who get tarot readings, um, a lot of times people think that they're going to get what they want. It, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, a true psychic knows, someone who is truly gifted knows that we are only a vessel. We're an oracle. We are basically like, you know, the transmitter. I relay the messages what I get is from the divine. So that is whatever you're meant to know. Like that's all I'm going to get. Okay. If you're not meant to know something, you're not going to get a straight answer or you're not going to get an answer at all. Uh, most of the, t that has not happened. I, that's only happened like a handful of times. Okay. And I've done thousands of readings. And like I said, I've only not been able to connect with about six people. So, you know, people wonder why. Honestly, I don't know. I don't, I have never been told why. Um, I just know that they have told me that, you know, the reading didn't, didn't make sense and, um, or it didn't resonate. And some of the people were very hostile and nasty. And a few of them were very kind. Um, they were angry, which I felt was weird. That to me just, I feel like tells me that they just have no knowledge of the spiritual world. Maybe they're not awakened. Maybe I'm not supposed to do readings. I don't know, to be honest. Um, I can go down a rabbit hole on that, but for whatever reason, I couldn't connect to them. Okay. Whether they were blocked or they blocked me or, you know, they weren't really open. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But, um, 
Yeah, so all that, when I receive messages and stuff like that, I'm only told what I'm, what I'm allowed to be told, you know? Um, it's like, it's weird because people think that psychics are just going to know everything. That's not how shit works. And if you're, like I said, if you're a true psychic, then you know you're only told what the divine wants you to know. Like, I have no control over God, over my higher power, over my angels and all of that. Like, I can't tell them what to do. I can't tell my own creator what to do. That's like a child trying to tell their parent, hey, you're going to give this to me right now. How do you, how does that go? How, do, how well does that go over? It, it doesn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because it's just strange um, how some people operate, like the entitlement, the justification of their actions. Like, I don't know. It's just fucking weird. And... I've been told by my messages lately have been that I need to have more empathy in regards to dealing with you guys. So I'm, I'm working on that because I get very annoyed with people who are rude and for no reason, right? Like people, I also get annoyed with people who basically question my, my intention, like, First of all, if I was trying to make money, and I have, I've worked in corporate many times, okay, and I have owned a reconstruction company, um, well, a remodel business, okay, that I made, I made like 60000 in three months, um, and that's not exaggerating, that's literally what I made. If I was in this for money, this would not be the business that I would be working at, number one. If I was just for for money, I could do a ton of other things where I could make a lot more money than what I make now. Um, and if I was in this just for money, my prices would not be as low as they are. They would be ridiculously high. <laughs> okay. Um, because I know how gifted I am. So if I wanted to exploit people, then I would be like charging $200 for a reading. That's not my intention. So when people come after me or message me and, you know, and I'm talking about the few that I have not connected with, those people were very just rude and like actually, you know, pretty ignorant as well because it's like they're basically the way that they talked to me felt like they thought that I was scamming them or something. And I'm thinking to myself, do you really think I'm scamming for $10? Let's be real here. That won't even, like, what could I buy grocery-wise? What could, what could I buy with $10? Think about this. If, if somebody's trying to scam you, are they going to charge $10? I mean, that's pretty stupid. In my opinion. <laughs> Uh, or is somebody going to charge $25 to scam? I mean, excuse me? I, I mean, it's just strange, right? And I keep my prices low because I want to be accessible to everybody. Because a lot of gifted people struggle with poverty. A lot of gifted people, um, you know, awaken people who are on a journey are not wealthy. Okay? So I want to be able to reach them and have them reach me and be affordable. Okay. Um, but also be respectful to my time. So I feel like $10 is the minimum. I did, I was charging five and I was getting a lot of nasty individuals. I don't know why that is. I don't know what the line is. I, I, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. Um, just from selling. So I don't know if someone's about to open an Etsy shop, but I'm being called to talk to you all about this. Um, yeah, it's just very, sometimes it can be disheartening, okay? Like, sometimes, you know, you're just like, you know what? Fuck this. And you want to just, like, shut your shit down, <laughs> okay? Because it's not easy. Like, dealing with people and customer service is not easy. For the most part, a lot of you are very kind. You're very grace gracious. Like, I appreciate you so much. Like, just your your kindness, you know? Like, some of you have even made me cry about how kind you are. Um, but then there's other people that
like they really try to tear you down um and i don't understand like what did i ever do to you you know like i don't know it opens up a wound from the past right it's like i've been torn down enough in my life um i don't want to deal with it in my business and especially in a business that that is coming from a heart space and that I feel very passionate about. Um, I don't know. So it's kind of, it can be overwhelming. Okay. But just know that um, I deal with a lot of you who are entrepreneurs, a lot of you who are gifted, a lot of you who are artists. Don't let people tear you down because there's going to be people that just don't like you because you are you. Okay, they're just not. They're going to see something in you that they don't have and they're going to be jealous of it. Not saying that that's my situation, but I'm saying, you know, like I said, I connect with a lot of people who are artists. I mean, we see it all the time. People who are creators or even YouTubers, right? And we see the type of comments because I watch a few vloggers. I love vloggers and I watch them and I'm just, I scroll through the comments and I'm like, why do you feel the need to have to say something rude or nasty? Like, why not just keep that to yourself? If that's an opinion, that's great. But you don't have to post it to, you know, have this person see this. And they may think about it all day. Like, you don't know what kind of mental issues that these people are dealing with. I don't know. It's just like kindness is something that really needs to come back. And it's sad that there are people who operate and it's getting worse i've noticed like this karmic energy people who are hateful people who just walk around entitled like oh i deserve the world like no the fuck you don't you don't deserve shit unless you work for it and you don't deserve shit unless you go create something from your heart space like if you're just a snake and you think that you should just get all this shit for free because you're you, that's a very narcissistic, toxic individual. Okay? Like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> that's my, I'm sorry, but that's my, that's how I feel about it. And I see people like that all the time. Women who are gorgeous, who think, well, because I'm pretty, I deserve the world. No, the fuck you don't. <laughs> I can tell you, you don't. Men who are wealthy and attractive, well, I can get any person I want. No, the fuck you can't. <laughs> Period. You can't. You may think you do. You may think you can, but you can't. These are the types of people that really piss me off, and they're not living from their heart space. Those are karmics, okay? Those are karmic energies. They have deeply rooted insecurities. That's why they operate from that energy, and they mask themselves, on a daily basis, they mask themselves with their Gucci purses. They mask themselves with their Mercedes. They mask themselves in their $100, $1,000 shirts. And when they go home and they strip away all of that, they're miserable. I don't know why I'm being called to say that. I just went on a rant. <laughs> Let me see. Let me ask Spirit. Why am I being called? Why was I called? Oh, because this is a karmic contract that needs to debt tears apart until debt tears apart because money i could be talking to an air sign gemini libra aquarius um saturn debt tears contracts career and commitments is tearing people apart that's why i'm being called to talk about this and you're being called to forgive people who are in this energy which that's difficult spirit like um mm, and one thing about me is I don't care who I offend in regards to if that's offensive to you then you're probably the person I'm talking about okay and that's why I say I don't care who I offend um my shop is designated I designed my shop for one purpose that is to show people and teach people how I'm gained inner peace how i got received got into a place of stability how i tapped into my gifts that's my goal in my shop my goal in my shop is not to continue to keep you guys in a karmic cycle to keep feeding into your negative mindsets no and i will not do that okay um 
if I feel like you need to do other things, I will tell you. And I will say, look, this is not healthy. Um, you know, you can't get this many readings. If I feel like you're just too much, because I can tell when you're in a negative energy. Because you pull from me. You drain me. So I will say something. Okay. And I have. I have. And thankfully, it was well received. And the woman thanked me. And she's like, you know, I will take your advice. And I didn't, I didn't say it in a mean way. I said it in the most loving way as you can being it being a typed message um because that's not the goal of my shop my shop is not to make money my goal is to make money in my purpose if that makes sense right be able to live in my purpose and make money because one thing that you can't do is live in your purpose and be financially struggling you can't now am i rich hell no i'm not even close <laughs> Okay, I'm not even upper middle class, but um, I'm okay. I'm comfortable. I don't have to live in like wealth to be happy. I used to feel like that, but that was coming from a toxic space. That was because I didn't have inner peace. And I'm not saying, you know, there could be people out here. There could be some of you that drive Mercedes that want to make 200000 a year. Okay, and that's okay. That's your goal. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. And I'm not saying that that's ego-based because it's not it's just what you want but for me that's just not something that I need like that's not that's not what I strive for if that makes sense I strive for helping others and being financially sound and stable um and making sure my kids are financially sound and stable but it's a lot less than what you may think <laughs> I've had friends that say, how the hell do you manage? Like, and I'm like, on a budget. <laughs> um, and you guys know I do a lot of odds and end work. Like, I do a lot of side work and stuff like that. I don't mind working. I've been working since I was 15 years old. And I'm not bothered by it. Now, do I take days off to kind of um, let my mind rest? Yes, because I have to. Um and then I don't do any side work. I just do tarot only because I made a promise. I made a promise to the divine that I would not take a day off um, on my tarot shop. And that was the promise that I made. And I feel like, you know, I didn't get any pushback from it when I meditated on it. So that means that they were fine with that. That's why I feel. And there are some days that I make zero on my shop. And when, and when those days come and I make zero on my tarot shop, I don't get down and say, oh, no, I suck. I don't do that. I take that as a, that as, that is the universe giving me a day off. <laughs> you know, that's what I take it as. I take it as, because there's weeks. There, could, there was one time where there was like a couple of weeks that I barely made anything. And I was like, okay, that, that is that is the divine, that is God, that is, you know, my, my ancestors, that is them telling me I need to take a break. And I was feeling overwhelmed. So I took a break. I took time off, you know, to focus on myself. Well, I didn't have a choice, <laughs> but I used that time to self-reflect and to relax. And I went to the beach and, you know, I just kind of reset my energy and I read and I just kind of loved myself. Um, you know, and I didn't spend a bunch of money because I didn't have it to spend. Like, you don't have to have a bunch of money to be happy or, you know, to go do things. Like, I don't know. That's a negative mindset that needs to be rewired, too. Now, do we like to travel and do stuff? Yeah, but you don't have to, to be truly happy, right? You don't need anything outside of yourself to be truly happy. And that's what I'm trying to teach. Um... But you do have to have your basic needs met, okay? So, and that's, having your basic needs met costs a lot less than what you may think. <laughs> okay, some things are a little crazy, but if you budget and look, it is a lot less than you may think. Like I said, I have, um, <laughs> my sister-in-law is like, I don't know how you do it. And I'm like, it's a lot easier than what you think. It's, it's a lot less than what you think. Okay. You just have to know how to manage. Um, 
And like I said, put yourself on a budget. But I don't know, maybe somebody needed to hear that. I, You guys know when I go on a tangent, it's because I'm told to. I'm being guided to. So let me pull one more card as to why I'm being told to say all this. Oh, yeah, and I was getting messages that I needed to be more personal with you guys. I don't know why, <laughs> but there I am <laughs> being all personal. So what's the last message? Karmic contracts, family finances, and other material concerns are causes of interference. This is why I'm being called to talk about this. I told you guys I'm always guided to talk about something specifically because spirit is telling me to. Now, do I kind of feel uncomfortable telling you guys all that? Yeah, <laughs> because I feel like, I don't know, it's just a lot of personal information and it makes me feel uncomfortable, but um, I have received messages saying that I need to be more personal. And um, as we know, as you know, when you're outside, when you do things outside of your comfort zone, you grow. Okay. So this is a weird healing space where I'm at right now. Personally, it's like, you know, I'm still working on my worth and my expectations, but also being more personal, I guess you would call that like, you know, completely removing the mask, right? And letting the ego fall um, and just bearing my soul. But it is kind of uncomfortable because, you know, how you feel you may be received. <laughs> um, because I know my intentions are good um, and I don't want to sound judgy. Someone wants another chance to make things right, the desire to do things better. So I don't know why that came out as I was saying that, but there we go. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay. This is the divine connection, true love. Important dream messages are being given. So yeah, pay attention to your dreams. Um, what me Who was that for? Who was that message for? Hold on a second. Okay. No. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> that was my ex-husband. <laughs> That's why. Oh, Lord. Okay. So who wants... Who is this message for? Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. So deception. This is for someone who's being deceptive. This is for someone who is being avoidant, potentially not expressing themselves. Oh, my God. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Go for it. Take a chance. So maybe I was... Okay, so maybe I'm talking to someone who is not taking a chance, not stepping forward, kind of staying in the shadows, not being open and honest with someone here. And maybe this is why I was told to kind of be very open because maybe being an example for you as to what you need to do. <laughs> Spirit works in mysterious ways here. Okay, lessons of Jupiter. Jupiter could be significant here, okay? Align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love. Be open to new ways, and the results are healing and expansive. Expansion, okay? So this is someone who has done some work on themselves, and you need to implement that work and, you know, express yourself. Yeah, this is because, and there's a stalemate because no one is taking action. Anything you want to say about who needs to take action or anything? Saturn, a soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency. Many challenges, but can bring benevolent long-term rewards. So Saturn, again, comes out. This is about karma. This is about karmic patterns. This is about learning from these patterns and moving on. So you could have a problem with being very controlling. This is a person who is very controlling. Um rejection this person is rejecting you okay it's not you so don't reject yourself rejection is divine intervention they're rejecting you because the divine is stepping in 
bit this time. Why is the divine stepping in? Guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering this situation. So this person feels very guilty and shameful for what they've done to you. And they feel very badly for what they've done. You are very telepathically connected. This connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. Letting go, change, time to move forward, risk and opportunities, new beginnings. So you are headed to a new beginning. It's very strange because like I said, I don't know any Leos. So, okay. Um, I never had a relationship with a Leo. But maybe that's not for me. Maybe maybe I'm being called to talk about a Leo because some, some one of you are connected to a Leo. This person, oh, I just saw the Sage card. So you're a queen. This is someone you have been with uh, romantically, Spirit is saying. Okay, so yeah, maybe that's not. This is, could be definitely for you guys. Okay, so who is, what else do you want to say about this person, Spirit? that I'm connecting with this person gypsy soul could have um oh Capricorn oh my god you gotta be effing kidding me there is no way my ex-husband is a Capricorn and he called during this reading <laughs> There is no way. Okay, anyways, you got We're we're not going to we're not going to do this, spirit. We're not. This person As I said, that was a very difficult karmic relationship. We're not we're not doing this. This is being infiltrated by the devil right now. <laughs> okay. So um artist yeah i told you okay you could be a capricorn you could be connecting with a capricorn any other people here um you could be connecting with a libra an aquarius i did see air sign this Aquarius may like dancing or be a dancer and earth energy is here as well. Okay. This message is for all of you. Okay. You have hidden knowledge here, higher knowledge. Lilith Sagittarius is here as well watching. Okay. Lilith energy is strong here. Lord have mercy. What do you want to say to divine feminine? Divine Masculine. What about the Divine Masculine? You could be dreaming about the Divine Masculine. This is a mutually, this is a beneficial and balanced connection. What else do you want to say? There's too much distance between you and your twin. You've had many past lives together. Unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances are affecting this situation. So, karmic situations are getting in the way awaken your heart chakra this is your energetic match i was just going to say what about the ones i was literally going to say what about the ones who are not in communication it's not you reject so don't reject yourself rejection is divine intervention Accept yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance and flow. So just accept the fact that they are rejecting you or that they don't want to talk to you. And what do you want to say to, excuse me, to divine masculine? <laughs> divine masculine. Yes. What do you want to say to divine masculine? What do you want to say to Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine is showing up in both of your readings. Huh. This is your energetic match. 
someone is not expressing how they truly feel. Wow, sacred soulmates. That's the, I couldn't find that. Karmic contracts are interfering with this. Unresolved wounds are interfering with this. Rejection. Do things differently. Pluto is here. Intimacy is not possession. This is a lesson of Pluto. Oh my God. Separation. Surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation. The highest levels of love always serve. So you need to open up your heart space and know that you're never separated. Only in the 3D, you're never separated in the 5D. Trust this part of your journey, the betrayal. Understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. So what do you want to tell um, both of them at this time? All of them? Destiny. In divine timing, you will fulfill your destiny. Which is what? You've had many past lives together. To have a life together. <laughs> But there's also physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or other negative patterns that are affecting this connection. So there's addictions. Reflect. We attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? So who are you attracting right now? So Spirit is saying, the person that you're with now, you... so. Every time you attract a person, Spirit is saying, you know, reflect on who you're with. Reflect on um, what you're doing because this is the person you need right now for the lesson that you are learning. Okay, so what are you learning right now? What are you learning from the relationship that you're in? New beginnings. Take a chance. Let go, change, time to move forward, risk and opportunities. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. You can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Betrayal. This person could have betrayed you. <sighs> what do you want to tell the Leo that I was connecting with? Because Leo didn't come out in that other card. What do you want to tell the Leo that I was connecting with? Emotional baggage is running the show. Retrain the internal so the external can change. Divine masculine. So this is a divine masculine Leo. And who has addictions? Wow. You need to accept yourself as they are liberate as they are, liberates patterns of resistance and open to flow. So you have addictions that you need to work on dealing with, but you also need to accept yourself and love yourself. This is, I, I don't feel like this person loves themselves. Lesson of Mars. So you're very telepathically connected. Karmic contracts are getting in the way. You have a very sexual attraction for one another. You can be vulnerable in this connection. Get out of your head and into your heart and divine timing. Wow, divine feminine. Radical attraction and sexual pull. So you're coming towards this... Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Messages for... So you are a Divine Masculine. I don't know if you didn't know that or... I don't know. Messages for Divine Feminine. Infinite Self. My, self, my Infinite Self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. Blue butterfly could be significant. Friendship. I am deeply grateful for the gift of friends. My appreciation for them is endless. Feminine law of attraction. I love the creative adventure that is my life. I celebrate myself as a female creator. 
I told you, I feel like somebody is going to open a shop or start selling something. And it has something to do with spirituality. Told you, you're getting somebody's getting ready to create. Asking opens a pathway. When I ask questions of my inner being, I discover that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me. Yes, that's true. Very true. Okay. So remember to ask yourself and ask your higher power. Okay, as well. Messages for divine masculine at this time. Messages for divine masculine. The flow of partnership. The ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be on my next path. Igniting my joy. Attuning to the highest good in myself and others ignites my natural joy. The power of support. I am grateful for all the love and support I receive. It is the most precious of life's gifts. The unknown. I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. A raven or a crow could be significant. Ageless beauty. With grace, dignity, and strength, I grow into the unique texture of my feminine soul. So you need to tap into your heart, my cortisone, my heart. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. You want me to pull one of these for what you need to focus on today. Divine Feminine, what does Divine Feminine need to focus on today? What risk can I take? Be not mistaken, you will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap, but do not fret because your soul has wings. What risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you're really made of. And messages for Divine Masculine. How can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. I surrender. I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. Somebody could be drinking liquor. Vodka in particular could be significant. I just had a sniff smell of vodka. Could be an earth sign. Or someone dealing with an earth sign. Pluto. Anything you want to say about this vodka or whiskey? This is someone who's very controlling that needs to complete cycles. This is the same person. This person is drinking. This person that is connected with an earth sign or you could be an earth sign is drinking heavily. They feel guilty for things that they've done. They're getting ready to take, there's Jupiter again, getting ready, this person is getting ready to take action. And this shit is going to be a storm. Oh, what, who, why is rejection here? Clarify rejection. Somebody's going to be rejected.
Wow. There he is. So the air sign, there's also a water sign involved. So the two of pentacles, this person hasn't, this person won't make up their mind. So I'm going to show you something. So when the divine masculine wants to come towards the divine feminine, is that when the readings change in his favor, in this person's favor? Yes. When he chooses to run from divine feminine, do the readings then show that she should stay with where she's at, with who she's with? Yes, <laughs> because this is more balanced. This is a balanced connection at this point rather than waiting. But she's always waiting. There you are. I feel like Divine Feminine is also doing the same thing. And Spirit is saying, yes, Divine Feminine is. Divine Feminine is stuck in her head and needs to also make a decision about the one that she wants. Or what she really wants in her stability. So they're mirroring each other. Both of these people, all of these people, Leo again, energy too. Um, all of these people here are imbalanced. So <clears throat> that's why I received that message on my phone about creating your own reality. So you guys are in the process of creating your own reality. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Um, and you're oscillating. You can't make a decision. You don't know what you want. <laughs> this is why this hangman energy. <clears throat> Spirit is telling you, you need to put a death, put an end to this hangman energy. Get out of your head. This is why you have to heal and go within. This is exactly why. In order to move forward, yes, to your peace. And to someone who is going to be very balanced for you instead of creating conflict. You don't want someone who's emotionally immature. You don't want someone who creates nothing but conflict, who is a player with that King of Wands. This is only going to lead you depressed because this person is a player. Wow. What you truly want is love. Queen and King of Cups is your wish granted. But what you have to do is in, you have to have your heart chakra open and fully love yourself in order to be in alignment with a King of Cups who is completely, you know, in a state of self-loving energy and their heart chakra is open. So this is why. This is why Spirit is saying this is why you have to make a decision. <laughs> This feels kind of codependent to me. Well, Divine Feminine right there. Yeah, what do you want? Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, make a decision. What do you want? What are you manifesting? Wow. You're refusing Ten of Swords energy. You're resisting this depressed energy. This is a long-ass reading. But this is what you're manifesting. Four of Wands in reverse and Ten of Pentacles. So this feels like an illusion. Like, yeah, I have a family. I have stability. But it's not healthy. Oh, Lord. It's mentally uh, Ace of Swords. It's a mental connection. Like, you know, you guys maybe want the same things in regards to family, but it's not healthy. Because you're attached to someone who's shady.
Mm. You got to get through this. You know what to do. But you're not doing it. Because what you have to do feels like a burden. An air sign has left you out in the cold. You feel abandoned by this person. So you're like, why the hell would I choose them? Because that's your person. <laughs> you feel like this person is the devil, though. This is how you view this person as the devil. So what is going to happen? Because I don't see Divine Feminine moving from her space. Yeah. What's going to happen with Divine Feminine? Yeah, Spirit is saying that's the truth. Divine Feminine is not going to move. So what's going to, how is this going to happen? What is going to get Divine Feminine to move? To move, to make a move. Someone's watching you. Watching your life. And they're going to come towards you. With no F, Fs given. This is a third party that is making a decision to come towards you. Romantically, they're ending a karmic connection. All you need to do, Spirit is saying, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Divine Feminine, is take care of yourself. Focus on your healing. You're not doing anything. You don't need to do anything. This, this may be why you're confused. You feel like, okay, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to let go and receive. Be open. Remember? You don't take action. Action is divine masculine energy. You're in a state of confusion because you're clinging to your comfort zone, but that's okay. You're going to be releasing this pretty soon, Spirit is saying. Oh, Lord. Clarify the air sign. Yep, and then you're going to have a renewal with this air sign. The ancestors are backing this. Listen to your intuition. This is your freedom from your shadow. And this is your wish fulfillment. I think you know this is coming. You do. You know it's coming. You feel it. You just don't know how it's coming, but you know it's coming. So stop trying to force anything. Force anything. Pluto is here. Creating this change in your life. This is your destiny. This is why I feel like they're saying release your fears because you could have um, fear surrounding this, but there's nothing to be scared of. Your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. Luck is on your side. A personal issue reaches resolution, right? You already know what that personal issue is. Your dreams need a practical plan, so that could be being implemented right now. What do you want to say about the Divine Feminine just working on themselves and just kind of releasing control and being in an open to receiving energy? What do you want to say to Divine Feminine about this? This is a long ass reading. It's time to take action. That actually came out in reverse, but look at the bigger picture. So they want you to a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so both sides are going to win. So win-win. This is a win-win situation. Both sides, everybody involved is winning. Look at the bigger picture. It's time for this to occur. It's time for this to come together. Work through your fears about this. I'm telling you, it's, it's time. It's divine timing. What do you want to say about divine timing? Geez, this is a long... Stability is coming.
So the water signs involved are getting abundance as well. But that's your comfort zone. Don't feel guilty. Some of you may feel guilty about this, but this person is getting abundance as well. Or these people, they have other people coming in or they have someone else coming in. Okay. You may not know this. Air sign, take the mask off. Reminder. And make the decision in regards to the earth sign that you're spying on. Fire is here. What about fire? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's a fire sign here too. That could be helping to harvest something or helping. Yeah, nurturing and compassionate to bring balance in. This this fire sign is bringing balance because of a stalemate. And fears. Because someone's holding on to toxic patterns. But this is being removed. Somehow this Leo, this fire sign is helping to eliminate all of this stuff. And bringing this in. Maybe it was the full moon in Leo or the new moon in Leo. Because, you know, there was something in regards to Leo. Maybe that is what they're referring to. That is removing all of this so that things, this, these seeds can come in and be planted instead of being guarded, okay? Yeah, this guarded energy is a karmic cycle that's coming to a close, okay? These people are coming out of um, being guarded. Just focus on your healing. This is a masculine, yeah, see, the masculine is finally taking action, But they had to deal with a separation that was very triggering, very toxic before they could do this. Yeah, that's the truth. And they had to love themselves. And they're in sun energy. So this person is in sun energy. That's the Leo energy. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I've got. <laughs> Oh, so what do I want to, so what am I saying is coming towards, um, coming by Monday? Union. Okay. Wow. 